featherweight division fight. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. All right, so here he is. They call him T-City, short for Triangle City, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega is a great fighter, a guy that has all the ability inside the octagon. He started as a jiu-jitsu practitioner, but you have seen the evolution of Brian Ortega as his career has continued to go on, has continued to proceed. Brian Ortega is getting better and better and better. He has now found himself staring across the octagon of some of the best fighters the division has ever seen, and he will continue to do that as long as he keeps developing the skills that are necessary. And sometimes it's hard to become a champion without having tasted defeat. A lot of people believe the Max Holloway fight for Ortega will be something he can build upon moving forward. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Both fighters 29 years of age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Dead 50 K. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you out. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Watch these to the body. And they separate. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Lands a big right hand early. That one landed clean. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ortega's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Ortega's now dealing with a cheat cut. Now connects with a right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? That was a thudding leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. T-City gets tagged by that stiff jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Lands a big right hand coming in. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Straight punch lands. Hey, he's off balance. Take him down. Punch is blocked. Right hand punch with the clinch. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, nice right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Punch over the top. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, straight right. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand is true, that will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Score that takedown for me, man. <laughs> Big punch land. Ooh. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Battle for position here. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. T-City gets touched by that kick there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Trying to establish that jab once again. Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Go for the single. Get the takedown. We need it. You need the takedown. Oh! Head kick. Oh, straight right. Final seconds of round one. Nice straight punch. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Okay, settle down, settle down. Now, this striking is way too amateur for you, okay? You have super... All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it. You gotta be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead up to that attack. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a yeah, Superman right, punch right. like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off. My foot would be slippery wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Ortega.
stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big punch with the clinch. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh! Oh, now he's in trouble. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Single collar tie now. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message ha. to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of oh. this second round. Just out of range with that right hook. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice, oh, nice right job punch by this young man. Scramble to his feet. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. What a punch. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Stuff the takedown, no problem. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar. Hey! Gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot. Oh, stuck in the he might get a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. of this young fighter. You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight.
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Dan 50 Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.